Here is the nicest looking Astra for years. It's the nicest looking because it was designed by a German. These are the special ergonomic seats. There's a very familiar looking digital dash thing and technology which you would never find in a Vauxhall before. And buttons. Sporty and confident from almost every angle, this is the new Astra beating the Ford Focus and Golf for some of its design. It's not expensive and this one even has black wheels, which is good if your name is Gary. Being so sporty and confident, they don't call this area here a grill, they call it a visor. And it is very visory if you look at it. And I think something else that makes it more sporty is this single crease line down the front of the bonnet. And you can really dig into a corner. Very, very nippy this. It's not just me that's impressed. Top Gear, not that one, voted this as the number one family hatchback when it was launched. What do you think of this though? This is the new steering wheel. First of all, it is slightly flat at the bottom. You can feel ridges. There is a button here, which is, where is it? Now there's the button heated steering wheel, bit of stitching. On the right hand side you've got the menus, the radio stations and so on. Then you've got the voice button and your volume. And on the left, adaptive cruise, which you won't pay a fortune for if you've got one of these. But what do we think of this thing here? I don't know. I don't know why I think of this thin bit. And these feel good quality as well. That's the first thing I noticed when I got in this. This feels good quality and it smells nice. To keep up with the Germans, there's things like a head-up display now for not very much money. Obviously, again, the digital, binnacle, lovely state-of-the-art navigation and the driving dynamics because this is nothing like the Mark 7. They've been that, they've gone, right, that is in the bin. This is a brand new car and fair play for changing it up. Quickly show you the instrument cluster, the Vauxhall multimedia system. Couple of things I like, number one, if you're scanning through your media, you can just do it on this particular part of the menu and then you can touch things here to turn the fans on and off but also it's manually down here with the buttons. There's, those are your heated seats. But then, obviously it's Apple and Android, CarPlay, but you see that little animation as you change? That's really quite nice indeed. Uh, what I love about this is obviously Hey Vauxhall. And then here, when you click this button, you've got these new maps, which you won't see because I'm in the middle of nowhere at the moment, but actually you can take my word for it, they really are good, they're 3D, and because they're powered by TomTom, speed camera alerts. That is brilliant. Onto the binnacle itself, I keep saying binnacle, sorry, instrument cluster. You can have a map, you press that button and it will bring up your map. You press it again, you've got your media, but it is very, very clean. I quite like the redness of it. I like the fact that it's almost all one screen. It isn't amazing, but you're not paying silly money. I think it's clean, 37.6 miles to the gallon is what I'm doing, by the way. That's the only thing I was gonna say is this vent. We've always got to, because it's not an advert, we've got to find something wrong. There's a vent here, which is part of the, the armor. I'm not a massive. 1.2 petrol, three cylinder, then a 1.5 diesel with eight speed auto, a 1.6 with electric motor for the plug-in and a fully electric, which importantly does support 100 kilowatt charging. Performance one is the Astra GSE. It has 225 horsepower and it's a plug-in hybrid. So you've obviously got the battery helping with the engine there. It would be great if they brought back the GTE, wouldn't it? And the reason I say that is because even in, even in standard, before you start thinking about, do you remember the GTE by the way? Nope. Amazing little car that was. This is so sporty to drive. I'm gonna, it's, it feels lighter and more accessible than the Ford Focus. So I'm thinking, I don't know, do you need a performance one? Well, it'd be, it would, would be good, wouldn't it? But it all starts here with the basic one. So you can now have this as a Tourer state or a normal hatchback. And there we are, that's the first price that's come up. There's millions of deals on here and every car as well. 245, couple of grand down a month, there we go. Okay, what else do we have? So, this is your 360 camera, which there's a bit of dirt on, don't worry about that. That's on the, that wouldn't be on the lens. Or it's a bit of light flare. And those are the different mo modes, and that's obviously the full car, which is great. And then if you come to here and scroll along, you have the Hey Vauxhall command, which for me is not working as it should. And that might be because this is a borrowy car, which means it might not have been activated. So you can test that, but you should be able to just look in and say, Hey Vauxhall, I want to go to a Blackpool. 
if, if you wanted to go to Blackpool for any reason. Let's go! Sound system is very, very good. And also, when you put the car in reverse, you get that old three series thing where the, the mirror goes down. And so which one should you get? Well, the smart money says the 1.2, 130 horsepower turbo is about that big. Bobby Basic, Astra, cheap as you can, 50 miles to the gallon. That's what I would do. I mean, the engine's actually on now and you can't hear it. Cheapest insurance for me in one of these is 414 pounds per year. If you go for the Vauxhall service plan, over three years it'll be something like 685 pounds for all three services depending on the miles of course unless you're going to go silly and that is based on a pcp or a lease in fact let's now do some numbers and compare the differences between a pcp on one of these and a lease using Vauxhall finance as an example you're looking at 231 pounds a month and seven and a bit down adding it all up your monthly payment is 372 pounds 71 pence on a lease 266 pounds and 2512 up front that brings you monthly to 320 pounds for the term with a total saving of 3203 pounds 97 pence for leasing okay on to the top three number one I'm gonna say the lack of road noise in this compared to the old Astra. Old Astra drove very nicely, didn't look as good as this, had far too much road noise. There's none in this. I know it's on the smallest wheels. Uh, number two, uh, I like the steering. I think the steering is very nice. It's very soft and very easy. And in three, I'm gonna say the handling slash the looks without the black wheels. I think this is a good looking machine if you get the right colour, this is really good. 